never had a girl like you. Uh, when we locked up, when you pass, couldn't look away. Ain't nothing. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are subscribed, welcome on back fam. If you're not, hopefully by the end of this video that will change and you will decide to press that button down below. But we are back with another cash stuffing video. Today is cash stuffing Friday for me. I just got paid. So let's just get to it and count up this money because I feel like today is going to be a long one. All right, so we should have $664. So let's go ahead and count it and then I'll set it up. All right, 50, 100, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 600. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, and 64. So perfect, $664. Let's go ahead and start with our cash envelopes. So I'm gonna be using my A7 binder for this week. So let's go ahead and stuff this first. Um. This is where I carry my daily cash envelopes with me throughout the week. Um, and I have these envelopes from All Things Planned. I bought these envelopes from her and I just added on the label myself. So for again, for those of you who don't know, um, I do split up my daily cash envelopes in half because I get paid bi-weekly. So groceries, eat out, gas, all that stuff gets split down the middle. I take half of that for the first week and then the other half for the second week. So for groceries, we're gonna do 250s, 220s, 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 4.5. So this should be $200. That's 50, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. So, so I'm just going to take the 250s for this first week because I already made my Walmart curbside pickup order and I know that it's $100. So I don't need to break up the cash for this week, but next week I will. So I'm going to put 100 in this envelope, and this will stay in the house because I don't, I also don't want to like carry so much cash on me at one time. So it kind of helps me out both ways not to carry so much cash in case someone wants to take it and not to spend so much cash in one week. And then the next week I'm like, wait, what happened to all my money? So that's that. Miscellaneous is going to get $50 this week. We have been doing 80 lately, but you know, this is a um, a very tight week, so or a very tight pay period. Um, so we're gonna do 50 for two weeks. Um, we're gonna do four tens. One five and then five ones. So that put us at 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So I'm just going to split those up and I'm going to give myself $25 for each week. And I have some exciting news for you guys. 
first of all, um, today's Friday for me, so today's the last day to enter the surprise giveaway that I did in my video. And I also have to pick a winner, so I will put that at the end of the video. Next, I have gas, and gas is gonna get $25 for each week, so 50 total. That's always two 20s and two fives. So 20, 40, 45, 50. And we're gonna split that up. But if you watched my Instagram post or story, you know what the other big news is already. All right now I'm gonna jump back to Eat Out. And Eat Out is going to get $25 for each week or $50 total. So I'm going to do four tens, one five, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I thought I had it like the, the crafty budgeter, but I didn't. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So we're just going to split that up into 25 each week. And 10, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Perfect. And the last thing I have is going to be self care. And self care is just going to get two tens or a total of $20. And this self-care envelope is like my sinking funds slash daily cash envelope for this one. I'm trying to stack up some money because our anniversary trip is coming up next month and I need to save money for hair, nails, you know, all that good stuff. So I think we are done with our daily cash envelopes. So I'm going to move these to the side. All right, so next I'm going to go ahead and pull out my first sinking funds binder as well as my sinking funds tracker. And I am so excited, you guys. We have finally, finally, finally made our last payment to our last credit card. So we are officially, officially done with credit card debt. Um, I told I did get paid from my PRN job as well, so I'll do a separate cash stuffing for that. Um, but guys, like I took th some of that extra money, put it towards my credit card. Um, I took some of my savings, put it towards my credit card. Like I took everything that I needed just to make that last payment, and we have paid it off. So we are officially done with credit card debt. I do not have to worry about that anymore. From now on, any money that I spend on my credit cards will be money that I have cash to back it up. Unless, of course, I have a huge emergency that I don't have enough cash to pay for. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that doesn't happen and I'm able to build up my emergency fund before something like that does happen. But I am so, so, so excited, guys. You know how long this journey has been. We've paid off four credit cards. Um, and this is like our last one. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Now, I do have more debt, but you know, the credit cards, I, I did do like a snowball. So I started with the lowest credit card amount and then I jumped to like the highest one. If you guys remember, I did pay off this last credit card, but then I had to charge it again because of some expenses that I didn't have cash for. And then I had to pay it off again this year. So from the end of December um, until today, which is August, the end of August, I've been able to pay off four credit cards. So this is amazing. I'm very proud of myself. I'm very happy we were able to do this all because of this program right here, like this system, all because of this system right here, I was able to do this. Could I have done it another way? If I had, you know, diligence and control, I guess, maybe, yes, 
I'm sure I could have. But for me, this was the best way to do it through the cash envelope system because I was able to divvy up my money, give each dollar a job um, and a place, a home. <laughs> so it, it really helped me out a lot. So I'm going to try to stick to this as long as possible because I'm very happy with the results so far. Um, if you remember, we did the $5,050 um, $100 envelope challenge and that helped us a lot with paying down our credit cards and we did it six months early so doing that challenge kind of got the ball rolling for me to help for me to pay off these credit cards and then the last few paychecks i have been putting every single extra dollar towards credit card debt now starting next pay period i should have a little bit more money to stack up my savings as you can see a lot of my envelopes are straight up empty um not completely due to you know credit card paying but just overspending as well so i need to rein in my overspending but i also have more money to put towards my sinking funds um i've only been able to put like ten dollars thirty dollars ten dollars i mean fifteen dollars each pay period and i get paid bi-weekly so keep that in mind so imagine i'm only putting twenty dollars or thirty dollars towards a sinking fund and i have you know to spend fifty dollars for something you know it is what it is but with all that being said i'm excited to stack up my sinking funds i'm excited to attack more of my debt i still have student loans as you all know i got a new car so that's what we're working on next so anyway we're gonna go to car next speaking of i hope you guys can see this so car we are going to add Five, oh no sorry for our car we're adding ten dollars and it's empty so we only have ten dollars I'm adding two fives you're gonna see that I'm gonna be adding a lot of smaller denominations because I've noticed as I spend cash I need change and then I don't have it so I need to make sure I have more change Next is going to be license, and license isn't getting anything, but we can count it. Um, with this paycheck, I had to be very selective with the sinking funds that I added towards because, like I said, most of my money went towards my last credit, my last credit card payment. So we have one, 100, 120, 130, 135 still. 135 the next time I have to use this envelope will be in December so we have some time pets is going to get $20 we don't have anything else in there so it'll just have 20 and we're gonna do two pens For our vacation fund, we're going to be adding a lot of smaller denominations because I am going on vacation in the next two weeks or so. And I want to make sure that when I carry my envelopes with me, I have smaller denominations. Thanks and shout out to Saving My Coins Budget. She did a video on stuffing her travel envelopes um, specifically for vacation. So now I had the great idea to make some. I just went into like a whole obsession and now... I'm going to make some and stuff them for you guys as well. So shout out to her for giving me that idea. Vacation, like I said, is going to get 170 And we are doing 520s. It might be all these. 1, 2, 3, 4, yep. And 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it's going to get 710s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So that's 170. And this is probably going to be depleted by the time I go on my next vacation, um, which will be our first year anniversary. So let's see where we are now. We have 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. So we have $1,185.
Yes, our anniversary is on Labor Day. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I can't believe it's already been a year, especially another year in a pandemic. But if you're interested in watching our wedding highlight film, it is on this channel as well. It's like one of the first videos, first or three videos that I posted on this channel. So if you like, check it out. But for household, we are adding $15 and that's going to be three fives. Oh, okay. Look at me, a crafty budgeter. Look what I did. She'll be so proud of me. We did household. That's going to get 15 And it's empty. We're going to come back to um, Black Friday and Christmas. Okay, next is hubby and he's going to get $10 and his envelope is empty as well, so. We'll just be at 10. Gifts is not going to get anything. I did have like $50 to give um, for gifts but i already gave it like as soon as i got paid so so it was no point in taking out the money when i had to like Venmo the person for their gift so it didn't make sense shopping is not getting anything as well but i believe we have yeah ten dollars in shopping Business and taxes, not important. <laughs> I didn't take out the envelope, so I'm not gonna go there. All right, so that is our first sinking funds binder. Next, we're gonna move on to our longer term <laughs> sinking funds. I love this binder so much, guys. If you want the details on this binder, I got it custom made for myself um, with engraving and everything. Um, I will put it down below. But it's genuine leather, amazing quality. So Wilson Babies is not going to get anything, but we can go ahead and count it. We have $15. Car registration is going to get um, $9. One, two, three, four. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's see what we have. Now we have 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And if you're wondering, these envelopes are from Sam's Crafts and Customs. All of my zipper envelopes are in my Etsy shop. But these ones are from Sam's Crafts and Customs. She does amazing work. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know how much that was. I forgot. I forgot. 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. $25. I feel like I'm not able to multitask right now, which is weird because I'm great at it. But like, I'm getting flabbergasted <laughs> a little bit. Amazon Prime is gonna get $5. And we have 25, so that's gonna put us at 30. And Future home is not going to get anything. But we can go ahead and count it. And that's 20, 25, 26, 27, and 28 dollars. And if you're wondering, um, these cash trackers are from Two Moms Budget. Congrats to her on um, 
just reaching her 1k goal and getting monetized hey sis congrats um but i do update those trackers i just do it off camera family fun is going to get five dollars we don't have anything so it'll just be a five Retirement is not getting anything either. Um, I stock retirement from my Etsy income or yeah, my Etsy income, my full-time job and my PRN job. I have um, like retirement funds where that money automatically goes. So this is just for like side income. Sing It is going to get $5. This is my miscellaneous fund. Did I say that right? <laughs> miscellaneous fund for things that I didn't really plan for or if I overspend out of you know one of my sinking funds or something like that so we add in five we have five ten fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen I feel like this is the most I've been able to have in this envelope is that right yep according to my cash charter yeah that's the most I've been able to save so far Tech is going to get $5 as well. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is not supposed to be here. This is something else. <laughs> I'm tripping. I'm really, really tripping today, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just forgive me. Don't hold it against me, guys. Don't hold it against me. So again, Tech is getting $5. And now we have 5, 10, 15, 16. Medical is going to get $5 as well. We have 10. So now we have 15. Parents is getting nothing, but we can go ahead and count it. That's 20, 30, 35. Sorry if you guys can't see, but I can't like scroll up anymore. And last for this binder is going to be my YouTube envelope. And that's getting five as well. But that's gonna get five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So this money is gonna go towards um, shipping for the giveaway. Whoever wins the giveaway is gonna go to money for the shipping. And that is a total of $10. So I will go ahead and put these back into my binder. Just gonna sit these here for now. Guys. <laughs> I have been racking up on binders. It's not even funny. So, and I have another one coming. We're not going to talk about it. I am going to replace this one. I'm getting like tired of it. And it's bulky and big and whatever. I'll have another one to replace that. But that should be my last one in my travel binder. But whatever. Anyway. The last thing we have is our holiday binder and that goes under my Black Friday slash Christmas and we're adding 20, but it's a little weird. I may have to change my, my sinking funds tracker, but for Thanksgiving, we're adding $5. We don't have anything in there. For Black Friday, we're adding five. So all the money that was in this Black Friday slash Christmas envelope um, I kind of divvied it up between these several categories. So we have $205 in Black Friday. In Black Friday, I do most of my Christmas shopping there. But sometimes after Black Friday or after Cyber Monday, during the Christmas season, I have to get more things as well. So um, Christmas dinner is not getting anything, but it has 20 and then this is my Christmas gifts envelope, and that's going to get five. And if you're wondering, 
where can I get these beautiful envelopes? They're on my Etsy shop, okay? These beautiful envelopes, look at this color. They're on my Etsy shop. Um, I listed them last week, I think, or two weeks ago, something like that. But this week I did list the label. If you already have like the envelopes and you just want the label yourself to put on yourself, I listed those as well, if you're interested. Secret Santa is not gonna get anything, but it has $70. Christmas tree is not getting anything, but it has $10. Um, Christmas decor is going to get $5. Christmas tree doesn't really need anything. I have all of my Christmas decorations from last year. I only have a goal of $20 because I may need to get like a new topper, but that's about it. Um, and miscellaneous isn't getting anything, but it has $20. All right, and lastly, we have our savings challenges and our savings envelope, envelopes, I guess. And the first thing I'm going to do is do my, um, I guess I'll do rollover last. That, we don't have anything. We're not adding anything. $5 challenge. I'm not adding anything towards it but we can go ahead and count it so i have a jamaica trip coming up at the end of the year so that's where my five dollar and my one dollar challenge is going to go towards and possibly my coin challenge as well but today we have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 and 70 dollars and i also have um 100 set aside so we didn't add anything, but we have 170. Same thing for my dollar challenge. We're not adding anything, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars. Um, and I have a hundred set aside, so we have 114. Rewards. We did add. I don't remember. I think I added like, oh, I added $10 from Survey Junkie um, off camera. So we have one, 120, 130, 135, 140. Our 26-week challenge, um, I think that's for a total of $2,021. We're not starting it yet. Um, we were supposed to start it this month, but we're gonna wait until the next month to start it. And our emergency fund is going to get $10. So that'll be our last 10. And then we'll put this right at 10. Our savings isn't getting anything, but I put money in my digital savings, but I'm not putting it in cash today. Um, we're doing 10, 15, 16, 17. So, yeah, so we have 17 in our savings. And our Melissa envelope just has 10. I'm just going to write it in here. This is like for my birthday and teens like that. So we do have some rollover money. I have 10, 20, $25. So I think I'm gonna put $15 towards um, self-care. So let me go ahead and write a little note in here somewhere. So now we have 20, 30, 40, 45. So that should be enough minus the tip. So at least get my nails done. And then the other 10, we're gonna put towards shopping, I believe. Oh, actually, 
we're gonna put that 10 towards vacation. So, I'm not about to count this again. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, for real. I'm not counting this. I'm just gonna do some math. So it'll be $1,195. Whoa! So if I add five more dollars, I'll be at $1,200. Nice. All right, so <laughs> we made it. We made it. So thank you guys um, so much for tuning in. Um, I really appreciate you guys for sticking with me through this video because it was a little rough. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. And I'm going to interrupt me right now just to announce the giveaway winner. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come in and announce the winner. And the winner is Live and Laugh with Linda. She has her own YouTube channel, so definitely go check her channel out. Um, she also does some cash shopping videos. I'm definitely going to subscribe. But she said her favorite holiday is Christmas, as mine. Also, Jesus is the reason for the season. Jesus is the reason for the season yeah okay but she says she likes giving and eating lots of food and very cute envelopes so thank you so much i really appreciate it um i loved your answer i love christmas it's my favorite holiday mostly because i love giving i love giving to others and it's just like my time to shine when it's time to do that you can do that anytime during the year but i just love the feel of the season so congratulations you won the envelopes um i'm going to reach out to you through email and definitely make sure you hit me back so I can send you your gifts. But thank you all so much for joining the giveaway. There will be another one coming soon. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And thank you for all of those who have already subscribed. I really appreciate you guys. So again, the giveaway winner will win these three holiday envelopes, Christmas dinner, Secret Santa, and presents. Um, and again, I'm also adding some surprises in there. I haven't decided if it's gonna be a personalized 1K slip or a sneak peek to a new listing that I'm thinking about coming out with or some cash. So stay tuned. But congrats to the winner for winning this giveaway. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting me and supporting my channel, for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, hopefully you've changed your mind by now and decided to press that button down below. It really helps out my channel. Plus, you do not want to miss out on these giveaways. The next one will be for either 900 or 1K subscribers. I haven't decided yet, but I know it will be cash. Um, so, until next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Like you, no.